Hello! On this episode of Basic Arduino, I will show you the correct way to set up the NRF24L01 radio transceiver with an Arduino board so it will function and work properly. The first thing we need to do is connect the module to the Arduino board. To do this, we will use one of these adapter modules. Not using one of these can cause a problem that a lot of people have, which is simply a lack of adequate 3.3 volt power to the NRF24L01. These adapter modules have a built-in 3.3 volt regulator and capacitors which solve this problem. There are other ways to solve this problem, but this one is the best and the adapters are very inexpensive. Next, we need to connect the adapter module to the appropriate pins on the Arduino. Here is a chart showing the connections. As you can see here, the Uno and Nano boards use the same connections, but the Arduino Mega does not. So, make sure to wire yours accordingly. This chart can be found on this project's webpage. There is a link in the description below. For this tutorial, I will be using an Arduino Uno. First, the IRQ pin is not used. MISO goes to pin 12. MOSI goes to pin 11. SCK goes to pin 13. CSN goes to pin 9, but can be connected to any unused digital pin. CE goes to pin 8, but just like the CSN connection, it also can be connected to any unused digital pin on your Arduino board. These pin connections will be defined in the Arduino sketch. Next, ground goes to ground. And finally, VCC goes to the Arduino's 5 volt pin. Now that the NRF24L01 is properly connected to our Arduino board, let's move on to the Arduino library you will want to use. To get the library, go to the Arduino IDE Library Manager and search for RF24 by TMRH20 and then install it. There are other libraries available but this is the best and most popular one used. The next step to setting up the NRF24L01 to work correctly is the one that almost every tutorial I have seen has left out and is one of the most important, setting the radio's channel. Skipping this is the reason most people can't get theirs working correctly. These radios operate on 2.4 gigahertz, which is the same as Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, radio controlled toys, and lots of other stuff. The default channel these radios are set to is most likely getting interference from one of these sources. Luckily, these radios have 126 channels to choose from, and finding one that is not being used is easy. In the Arduino IDE, click on File, choose Examples, scroll down until you find RF24, and select Scanner. This sketch will scan all 126 channels so you can find one that is not being used. Before you upload it to your Arduino, go down to this line of code. This is where you define what pins on your Arduino are connected to CSN and CE connections on the NRF24L01. The first number is for the CE pin and the second is for the CSN. Change these to the pins you are using. I am using pins 8 and 9. Next, make sure to set the serial monitor's baud rate to match the sketch. Then upload it to your Arduino board. After it is finished uploading, open up your serial monitor. If everything is set up and connected properly, you should see something similar to this. At the top of the display, we have all the current settings of our NRF24L01. But what we are interested in is this part. These two lines of numbers and letters are the hex values of the radio's 126 channels. The first column is channel 1, the second is channel 2, the third is channel 3, and so on and so on. As the radio scans through the channels, it will show the signal level it is receiving on each channel below the channel's hex number. This will keep updating about every 20-30 seconds. You want to look for a channel that is showing no to little use, preferably one that is showing all zeros if possible. Before you select a channel, I would recommend letting the radio scan 
10-15 minutes so you can get a more accurate assessment of the interference on each channel. I'm going to pick this channel, 6F, hex for channel 111. It is not being used and is far away from any other channel that is being used, so it should be free of any interference. All right, let's go back to the Arduino IDE, and I'll show you how to use the hex value to change the radio's channel. This is the same sketch that we uploaded to scan the channels for interference and use. To set the channel, scroll down to the void setup and just under radio.begin, insert radio.setchannel and the hex value for the channel you want to use. I'm going to use channel 111, so I will enter its hex value here, which is 0x6f. Now, to show you it works, I will upload the sketch to my Arduino board and then open up the serial monitor. As you can see, the radio frequencies channel has been set to 0x6f, which is the hex value of 111, the channel I wanted the radio to be set at. That concludes this episode of Basic Arduino. Please like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day, and I hope to see you here again on a future episode of Basic Arduino.